Hey everybody, Jonathan here with Pinnacle Outdoor Traditions. Um, as I'm sitting here editing video, I realized I kind of made a mistake. Uh, last week I previewed a shot that I had taken I had a deer on October 23rd, and that video is coming, I promise you. Um, but as I was going through the footage of the days leading up to it, I realized that on the 22nd, I have had a phenomenal day out in the woods that I completely forgot about. And got a lot of footage, um, really cool footage, of uh, whitetail in their natural habitat doing what whitetail do. And it was just too cool, it really lended itself to a really neat story that I just felt like I needed to go ahead and make something out of that and share it with you. So that's what you're getting ready to see. The video that I teased last week will be coming up not this coming week. So I'm taking uh, Thanksgiving week off of family and everybody in town. So it'll be coming the week after Thanksgiving. I do promise so that next shot, uh, that next video of me shooting at a deer is coming. I'm not going to spoil it for you and tell you what happened, but I will tell you it's going to be a lot of fun and it's uh, going to be a really good video. So hopefully y'all enjoy this week's some deer in their habitat doing what deer do i know i enjoyed shooting it and filming it and i uh, even enjoyed editing it so hopefully y'all have as much fun as i do Good morning everybody. It is 5.41 on October 22nd. I am gearing up this early Saturday morning and actually in the truck getting ready to leave. I'm headed over to Brother Roberts again. Uh, this morning I decided to sit in a stand that uh, I set up two weeks ago but have not sat in yet. Uh, don't really have much in the way of trail camera for over there. So I don't know exactly what to expect. I know deer move through this area. I know that there's uh, a lot of trails and a lot of transitional areas in there. Uh, interesting thing about this stand, I don't, I don't even know what the good wind location is going to be because I have no idea where they're coming from, where they're going to. So this is going to be a very new and kind of a test and see observational kind of set. We're out this morning looking for, of course, a doe. I'm still out on doe patrol. I've only shot, you know, one doe this year um, here in North Carolina anyway looking for something to fill the freezer love to have a nice big buck come out be able to shoot one during archery season the fact that they're starting to kick their rut off start to chase start to look is all good sign um, but we're still new moons coming up in a couple of days uh, we're in that transition between like true fall and even a little bit of winter weather coming in so there's a lot of things, got things stirred up, up in the air, can't predict what's gonna happen. So we're saying good morning, we're gonna pray, and then we're gonna get going. So Lord, we are very grateful for yet another opportunity here in your woods, Lord. You know, the struggle's been hard this year, and you know what all's been going on. But Lord, you're also the great creator and a master of everything, and you have the capability of helping. And Lord, we have our faith in you this morning that you will indeed bring nearby. And that, Lord, we pray that it be your will that a good doe, or even better, a great big buck, one of the ones we're looking for, will come by and give us a shot opportunity. And that we make a good, clean, ethical shot. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunities you've given us so far this season, Lord. And uh, despite all the struggles, Lord, and, and the, the, the hard work that's gone into it, uh, we've still been able to produce some stuff this year, Lord, and I'm very grateful for that. I pray, Lord, that as we go into this weekend and go further into this month and into the upcoming season, Lord, that uh, you see fit to help and bless and guide in everything that we do. We thank you, Lord, for all these wonderful things and for these blessings, Lord, and pray, Lord, for your help in only the way that you can. In your name we do pray. Amen. All right. We will see y'all in the stand. Thank you. 
that dust cloud disappear without a trace. I want to take shelter from the poison rain. Well, the streets have no names. Well, the streets have no name. Well, the streets have no name. We're still building and burning down love, burning down love. And when I go, I'll go there with you. That's all I can do.
looks like there might have been a little bit of puff running through here this morning. So, <coughs> my, uh, seems as though what I thought was going to happen in a stand in terms of a lot of things moving around um, has been fairly accurate. The Lord has definitely blessed this morning and uh, given me a pretty good show and lots of good action. On the way here, I uh, passed a deer standing on the side of the road that uh, ended up being a really nice buck and uh, like from the top of its head to the top of the horns was probably a good 12 inches and there were a whole bunch of them going up through there. So uh, I saw that as a good sign. They've been on their feet pretty good for the last hour and a half. Like I've seen all six of them in the last hour and a half. So uh, I'm going to sit still for a bit longer. See if anything else kind of trickles through at the end. I'm still looking for something to come in and give me a shot. Something that's either a doe or one of the good bucks that are in the area. But uh, we're going to see how that works out. I keep looking up and scanning because uh, they could come in anywhere around me. And so far they've been from in front of me to beside me and all the way in that like 90 degree area. So I kind of half expect them to come in back here, down there behind me. We'll see what happens. But uh, it's been a fun morning so far, that's for sure. It's uh, 10.30 and uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. Did see one more deer uh, way off in the woods just saw shadows moving look through the binoculars able to see either its legs moving in between the brush or its back as it moved along never did see exactly what it was it was just browsing along um, headed away from here so uh, I think we're at the stage where I could safely get out of this stand go take care of the one thing I need to take care of before I leave and uh get on back to the house so i will be back at it this evening in one place or the other i'm, I'm gonna take the gopro with me i'm gonna get down and i'm gonna go check and see if that uh that was indeed a, a rub and scrape that we were seeing that deer make this morning so if it was uh it was definitely a little buck because i never did see horns on his head but uh I've seen that action before, and that's exactly what it looked like. So, all right, guys. Well, good Lord did smile down upon us. So, yay for that. That's awesome. That was definitely you. Okay then. Well, I just got done saying goodbye. Took my. Uh, my head. Just getting ready to stuff it in my mouth. <laughs> there was a deer right there. <laughs> I had already unplugged the microphone, unplugged the remote to the camera, and uh, just showed up. Walked right underneath my stand. Saw me. He jumped back a little bit. And then just, he stayed maybe 10 yards away from me walking around. That was definitely a uh, a young buck, I mean, I saw he had a little, like, inch and a half, two inch horns. And uh, he walked down and around. But, uh, <laughs> that was interesting. That caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that. I am down. I was able to get down without getting any more surprises. So I'm on the ground now. Over and see if that was a rub and see if uh, my guess is that that little one I just saw was the same one that was over there making a rub and scrape in front of us. So it's like 40 50 yards away. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Apparently there's 
they're still in these woods. I spent too much time thinking about That's what we watched. Happiness moments. I had to be that same little bug. Man, he was digging on that thing. Dude, that was cool. Right. <sighs> I cannot believe. There's another deer right there. I think it's the same one. I think he is making circles around here. I'm trying to set his down on the top. But that's a, that's a really cool scraping rock. Yeah. All this green stuff that's on the ground right here. You must do all of that off of there. You can see where it's like fresh broken right there. Right there. Destroy that little cedar. <laughs> oh, that's cool, man. That's really cool. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here before I get busted by some other little young thing. So, just FYI, I headed back up to take care of the little thing I needed to do with the stand. Put some little wedges in so that the shooting rail sits actually up. Uh, brought my crossbow and my GoPro with me and my range finder just in case because I had seen some deer walking out well the just in case was justified there were two deer out there um, however they saw and or heard me coming and uh, were long gone before I could get close so not the best at stalking but it's two more deer makes uh, 11 in the woods with one on the side of the road so 12 total for the day nothing I got a shot at but still deer it's pretty cool Let me down. No, my progress ain't never let me down.